Hey everybody, this is Prince the Car Tech, and I am getting ready to do a motor treatment on a Dodge Journey. And basically, I already changed the oil filter. Um, the store that we went to didn't have a PCV valve, so we just cleaned out the PCV valve with starter fluid. They cleaned it out pretty nice. I changed the air filter. So the air filter has been replaced. It's the oil filter and the air filter. And now I'm getting ready to run the motor treatment through the car. So, um, of course, this is a four cylinder one. So by it being that, there's only a few lines that you gotta run it through on this vehicle and you will have the great results that you're looking for. So uh, let me get ready to pour it into my oil. So I'm, I'm actually trying to do it one handed and open this up. So that's the reason why I'm sounding like that. But I did it though. Pour this up in here. Clean that on out. Look up in here. It's, normally I look up in here and see how much is left. It's not less as I want, so we can pour a little, what is it? No, we can pour a little bit more in there. And then, let that do its job right there. Now, you know, how you can normally tell is through the oil cap. I mean, you see that build up on the oil cap? That's how you can normally tell. You got uh, a lot of stuff going on this side there, so I'm to get this pour a little bit in there. Don't always do much, but it's still just worth putting a little bit on there. You know what I mean? So, um, as we sit here and watch the motor treatment go to work inside here. You can literally see the swirls both now imagine that under pressure like under engine all right so anyway let's move on next job all right so now I need her to crank it up. You can all crank it up. You can start it up. All right, so from here, you're gonna see the three locations that I normally place the, uh, motor treatment so you see how the car runs and that's already running better just because I cleaned a few things so let's get it started you want to hold the camera from Zoom in or whatever, but it's recording. All right, so now I'm about to put it into the three backing lines and go from there. Probably might cut off a couple of times depending on the situation. I'll try to avoid that.
brake booster so I'm going to use my brake booster and pull this one off. back in line. Of course, eventually the car is going to want to start smoking because the seat will be coming out the exhaust. Sometimes on these bugs, they like they, like, they don't want to start back up. Alright, so I just poured the rest back into the oil, especially because we changed the oil filter. We're trying to clean out the system, so the PCB was the main one that does it because it's uh, the one that sucks in the oil the dirt. Alright, so now from here, there should be. Alright, so uh, crank it back up and let me see where you at. show the customer <laughs> all right so right now uh, it's like this so you can hear that clacking Matt, it's going toward the hotel like that, bro. That's how it works. Now we did put a lot of treatment in it, so. Um, dang. Well. See the idle now? Do it look different than my phone? Now, now, main thing is now I gotta reset my customer's light because that was their problem. They slick felt like they just had their oil change, and um, 
with the oil change. It the light seemed like it came back on too soon. So I'm gonna uh, if I can reset that oil light. Probably gotta cut the car off, huh? Let's see. Alright, so let me grab the key. I'm gonna do this next part, y'all, and we go from there.